So uh, I did like five years, maybe five and a half years on that one. And um, when I got out, I came back home. And since being home, I started off, I was working at uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken downtown, working there full time. And I was working at Chipotle full time. So I was working from six to two in the morning, then 3.30 to 11.30. So since then, <laughs> I worked my way all the way up, so now I'm a general manager at KFC and I'm um, assistant manager at Taco Bell. Good. You still there? You doing that? Good. Excellent. Actually, Excellent. Actually, Take... yesterday marked three years of me being home. Excellent. Without no problems from the public. Excellent. You know what I suggest is um, that you take some night classes or you work on finding some investors to get your own franchise. Night classes in business will help you uh, move higher and quicker in the management. I've seen it happen before. Um, we have such similar stories. 11 years old, start carrying a gun and doing my thing. 17 years old, caught with a gun, doing my thing, plea bargain. Got out, ordered to get a job. Went to fast food, got the job. Went to college on the affirmative action program. Worked at McDonald's at night after that. Made assistant manager my first year. On the other hand, still dibbling and dabbling. Because mm -hmm. you don't transition, you don't transform your life that one day. You don't say, I'm through and don't do it anymore. Well, that's not true if you've been a, in the street all your life. No, you don't just stop. You might slow down a little. I went from some hardcore stuff to selling joints on campus to flipping three-car Molly, which is where I met my wife, <laughs> she told me. She turned over the red car and didn't have any money now. Then a couple other little things involving financial crimes. So um, then by the, by the middle of my second year, nothing. And have not done anything that would send me to prison since that time. <laughs> <laughs>